Hello, Jamie Mason here with Danny Jaber. This video presentation is aimed at students who might be contemplating doing the vocational pathway certificate. Now, if you're, you are in that situation, it is likely that you are either uh, not attending school regularly and are trying to uh, come back to school uh, and to re-engage, and that's certainly uh, the VPC will assist you with that. Or it may be that you have some learning needs that means that you're not really able or ready to uh, complete a VCE unit and the VPC will certainly assist you with that. The students that do the Vocational Pathways Certificate will not be at school as often or as much as those in the, in the VCE. So it is possible to do some work placement while you're doing the Vocational Pathway Certificate. It might be that you have wellbeing needs and you're not able to come to school every day. This is the certificate that might help you complete uh, a certificate by the time you leave school. The options for you really are that you will be required to do uh, literacy, numeracy, work-related skills and personal development, and you'll get two units of that by the end of year 11. And then there's an option <clears throat> to do a VET. Not compulsory, so if you uh, don't do a VET course, you are still able to get the Vocational Pathway Certificate. And maybe you, you come back to school and start the VPC and find that you're going well, and then you might opt in to do a VET later on. But certainly, it is, it is possible to either leave that unselected, or it might be that you really have a passion for one of the VETs that we're offering here, and you might be, say, into music, and you could certainly choose that. Uh, the VPC is a great option, um, particularly because it's so flexible. So as Jamie said, um, things might go to plan early doors. And that means that then you're looking at the end of year 11 and thinking, right, um, am I going to step up and, and move into the vocational major? Um, could I step up, in fact, and, and complete um, a traditional VC course as well? Um, it's really kind of a, a platform to, to work out what it is you want to be doing in the future. In some cases, particularly if you've chosen a vet, um, it might well be that you end up um, getting to the end of year 11 and thinking, right, I want to do an apprenticeship or a work placement. And it could well be that, you know, you move on somewhere else as well by the end of year 11. Um, so options are really open um, and it really is an opportunity to just get back into the swing of things with schooling or get the additional support that is required because of potential um, learning needs, as Jamie has already outlined. So um, very much an option for those that are looking to uh, experiment and also re-engage with education. Uh, once you're happy with, let's say in this case, I've chosen a vet as Jamie has done there, uh, you'll note you just need to double check that your preferences are accurate. And this is a nice easy one. Um, and you'll see here subject value is $30 for that particular vet. I'll press submit. The next page that comes up then is a receipt. Um, it's really important that in this case, because I've chosen a vet, I make payment for that as soon as is possible. So all the details are here for how to make payment and what you need to do to follow there. I'll also add that you'll note that there's two units in brackets next to each of these subjects. Uh, the minimum requirement for the vocational major certificate is 12 uh, units. Um, so more often than not, students will get very close to those 12 units by the end of year 11. Um, and that makes year 12 a lot easier and, and again makes it a lot more fluid and flexible depending on what um, those desires and options are in year 12 um, moving forward. So straightforward process um, and hopefully that makes sense. If you are thinking about doing this certificate, I would strongly recommend that you talk to someone at your current school about the suitability of you to do that. And obviously once you come to Sydenham on the 14th of August, we'll speak to you in detail about that option. Uh, but it is a valid option, for, particularly for those of you who have struggled to engage um, with school perhaps in year 10 or have uh, learning needs. Thank All you. the best with the process.